And from one, one walk to another, it was a beautiful day here in Warwick. Look how many people came out to Goddard Park this morning for the Autism Project's Imagine Walk. This picture comes from my old weekend buddy, Danielle North. We know her. She was the honorary chairperson of the event. And from dry conditions this morning to some showers showing up right now on Live Pinpoint Doppler 12. Let's take you right to those. And you can see that band of green now sliding through northern Rhode Island. I'll take you in a little bit closer and you can see the shower stretching across the Rhode Island Connecticut border to 295 in Greenville and just to the north of Providence through Central Falls. This man will continue to push down to the south. So places like Cranston, Warwick, even the East Bay may pick up some of these showers over the next hour. And we'll keep the chance of showers all the way through tomorrow morning. However, the bigger story tomorrow will be the huge temperature spread. I'm talking about temperatures in the 70s north and west of I-95, 60s along 95 from Providence down into Westerly out into the Attleboro's, and 50s from places like Newport, Jamestown. That's because some clouds will linger, some showers, and also the winds coming in off of the cooler water. So a big spread in temperatures on the way. As for right now, not really the case. Temperature is 46 degrees in the capital city. Winds are out of the southeast at 6 miles an hour. 50 quite mild in New Bedford, 50 in Taunton, Smithfield 48 degrees, and we are 47 in Wesley. Notice this blob of showers, the bulk of it really staying off to our east and out over the Atlantic. That will be the trend as we go throughout the next 12 hours. Every once in a while, a shower, maybe a thunderstorm, a downpour may clip us, and that threat uh, lasts all the way through tomorrow morning, maybe into early afternoon for eastern Massachusetts. But again, the temperature is the much bigger story. Why will we warm things up? Well, this thing right here, this is a warm front. Look at the temperatures on the back side of this thing. These are current temperatures, not high temperatures today. It's currently 73 in Pittsburgh. This air mass is on the way for tomorrow. Now, if we got full sunshine, we would easily be in the mid-70s tomorrow, but that will not really be the case. So the clouds sort of limiting the warming tomorrow, but inland will get into the 70s. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, the chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially here in eastern Massachusetts along 195. And as we go into the afternoon, a little bit of sunshine possible, especially north and west of Providence. A few showers could linger here in eastern Mass, but most of your afternoon should be dry. So uh, not a bad day for Monday. It'll be windy, though. Could see some gusts up to around 30 miles an hour. Overnight, the chance of some showers and thunderstorms and occasional downpour. Temperatures holding in the mid-40s with some patchy fog possible, especially along the south shore. At the bus stop tomorrow, temperatures upper 40s to low 50s with a chance of a shower, downpour, or thunderstorm. And then into the afternoon, most of the raindrops should turn off. I mean, every once in a while, we may pick up a sprinkle. I have 68 for Providence. If we get more sunshine than anticipated, we could easily go into the 70s in the capital city. So what I'm trying to say is stay tuned to TJ tomorrow morning. He may have... A few changes in this forecast. Look at the spread in temperatures. 56 for Newport, 63 westerly, 69 Coventry, and then we go into the 70s for our inland spots. 70 there in Foster, 70 Situate, Cumberland 70. These are often spots we put the cooler temperatures. Not the case for tomorrow. Eastern Mass may be a shower in the early afternoon. After that, we dry it out. 56 for Middletown, 62 Westport, and 62 in New Bedford. Seven-day future cast features more showers possible Monday night to Tuesday. A pop-up shower possible Tuesday afternoon and then rain possible on Wednesday. But all in all, not a bad Monday, mild with the wind, maybe some showers early. All right, thanks, Pete. Yep. And still to come on Eyewitness News at 11, Duckling.